This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, a lot of people are thinking that because the feds dropped the interest rates that mortgage rates are going to drop exponentially. I don't see that happening. I believe that the mortgage rates were already figured in. Not saying they anticipate a 0 0.50 basis point cut, but I believe that the interest rates were figured in. And you can tell that it was because the 30-year mortgage has not dropped much since the 0 0.50 basis point rate cut. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I think it's going to be great for the real estate market? I'm going to tell you guys something. I personally don't believe it's going to have such a major effect on the real estate market yet. Possibly in 2025 after two or three more rate cuts if that happens without a recession. Okay? I believe that the rate cuts can have a positive impact on the real estate market if you have the rate cuts without the recession. But what I'm referring to is the residential real estate market because there is a limited supply of residential properties available for sale. And that's because a lot of sellers were sitting back and watching the market and they didn't want to underprice and sell their properties. And most real estate sellers will end up being real estate buyers because they're usually moving up to a bigger house or sizing down to a smaller house. So the sellers usually end up being the buyers. So that is great for the residential real estate market. But when it comes to the commercial real estate market, I don't see this having any effect whatsoever. I see the commercial real estate market coming back once the businesses bounce back, once the banks bounce back. And you see how the banks are closing brick and mortar locations. So if the banks are, are closing locations, brick and mortar locations, you know the commercial market is going to be in deep trouble for the next couple of years and rate cuts are not going to save them in my opinion. And then, this is another thing, and guys are not going to like this. I know the shills are going to get upset with me. But criminals are allowed to run up in stores and take what they want with no real repercussions. I mean, they're almost as bad as the AMC GME naked shorters. They can create endless counterfeit AMC shares, endless counterfeit GME shares, and nothing happens to them. And that's another problem with the commercial real estate market. You got Dwayne Reed, you got Target, Walmart, you got Target. When you allow these petty criminals to run up in the store and shoplift things with no repercussions, you are going to push these retailers out of neighborhoods, which is going to have a negative impact on commercial property. So I personally don't think interest rate drops are going to have any kind of effect on a commercial market when you have more people working from home and the retail stores are losing money hand over fist because of criminality and shoplifting and things like that. Until they rein in the petty crooks, the commercial retail market is going to continue dropping. And as long as people are able to be just as productive as at home as they are in the office, the commercial real estate market is going to be in trouble for a very long time. A matter of fact, you know what I see happening? And this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I see a lot of commercial spaces being converted 
into residential spaces. That's what I see happening. The shields are going to attack me because no matter what I say, they always attack. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the rate cut is going to help the residential real estate market? Or do you think it's going to have no effect whatsoever on a commercial real estate market? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.